Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's one more technique that I left out that I should have showed you. I'm sorry I didn't um, show it to you, but there was a lot of stuff. I didn't exactly plan out the order and how I was going to do this um, because of, I knew I had to get it out as soon as possible. Um, so um, yeah, it's just, just you no know, matter of time constraints and just making sure to meet what I had to do and stuff. Um, so yes, one writing technique I can show you is um, like which will speed up your handwriting pretty nicely. Um, and we'll pretty much skip the part where your hand has to warm up and stuff. What you want to do is um, you just take the writing point of you know your pen or pencil before you write. Um, and um, what's it called? Uh, well, I have the cap on. Um, but um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really tired right now. Um, I have the cap on, but um, you're supposed to have the cap. Um, I guess you can leave it on, um, but um, I don't know, I guess do with the cap off. But the whole point is that your fingers just get the exercise and stuff. Um, I don't want to waste my time with stupid details, which really don't make a difference like that. Um, it's cool. All you have to do is just like sort of, uh, it's called rub the pen tip against the palm of your hand and just use the resistance to like, you know, exercise your fingers like I'm doing. You know, just use your regular handwriting grip that you use. Um, work up, you know, your, your grip and your writing technique. I mean, I usually write like this with like two fingers on top and one supporting in the bottom. It's like very, it's like a very stable, stable way of writing. It gives it lots of control. Like, see how my, my fingers are like completely surrounding the pen. It's lots of control, you know. Um, and it's good because like I have a beefy hand and stuff. Which like can't really hold things so delicate because like I don't know I guess it just doesn't work. It's not comfortable. Um, I was, I think I was probably too stupid as a kid to write like a normal person or use the um what's called the form they taught me where like you go like this, which is like supposed to be like the optimal, sophisticated form. I couldn't do this. It was too difficult. So I, I did my um, uh, handwriting. Uh, what's it called? My uh, way of uh, holding my pen or my handwriting gate as I can say. It's called um what's it called? Yeah. What else I want to show you? There's was, sure, there was probably something else. Yes, um you could do the sim also do a similar thing with the keyboard where you just work out your writing fingers like this and just work out your writing grip against your palm. Make sure to rub like up and down, side to side and just sort of resist your fingers and stuff. And that will train the muscles in your hand over here in your forearm to control the pen better and of course stretch them out once they get tired and stuff maybe do that once or twice, tire them out once or twice, and then just write. And you know, you should already be warmed up, and that'll cut out your warm-up time by like one-tenth, literally. Um, and eventually you will get better at taking notes and stuff, because your hand will not tire. Um, which is good. I mean, of course, you could always take notes to do that, but like, you know, I, I always feel like, you know, you can just cut out, you know, those breaks that, that you have to take and stuff, you know? Um, and yeah, I knew I show you. I knew uh, what's called. I knew I said I was going to show you one technique, but I don't know. The second one just came to me. Like I just remembered the second one while I was doing this video, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything to what's it called show you guys. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed my other, you know um what's it called, self-help videos and stuff, or whatever those tutorials that I showed you, so yeah.